Now, AMD. All right, AMD CPUs. I made a video a couple months ago talking about the fact that AM4 and AMD essentially is awesome. Why AM4? I think it's titled Why AM4 is Awesome. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. And it was a love letter to AMD and the awesomeness of AM4. There was a brief period of time in there where I was angry at AMD because they broke their promise initially, and they did not support... 5,000 series Ryzen chips on the first generation boards. In fact, we talked two years ago about all kinds of problems we had. I, I've had multiple brick systems trying to get Ryzen 5,000 chips working on older mm -hmm. boards. Yep. My X370 Crosshair Hero 6 from Asus, my Gigabyte Gaming X370 uh, Gaming K7, both are very premium boards, a wow. Super El Cheapo board um all bricked when the 5000 series came out and i tried to update their bios and i tried to get them to work they were a disaster i had further problems with some 400 series boards i had an msi x470 um no it was an M it was an msi black and red board i'm trying to think i don't uh. have it anymore it was a full-size ATX board, but it was a cheaper X470 board. I cannot for the life of me remember what it was at this point. It's been a couple years, and I, you, just, you touched too many things. Yeah. There was an MSI board, and there was an ASRock board, both of which bricked. Mm -hmm. And I saved them through BIOS flashback. But here's the kicker. I talked two years ago about, ah, oh, AMD, this is a mess. I'll forget it. You have to replace your board. This is ridiculous. Now, don't bother upgrading to, you know, Zen 3 on your older system. You need to buy a new motherboard because these things are terrible. AMD took the criticism to heart because they went back to the drawing board and said, okay, we will support it. We will figure it out. And they did go back and they did figure it out. I am pleased to say that X... 370 Crosshair Hero 6 now works fine with a 5000 series chip. I still have that board. The gaming K7 X370 now works fine. It's updated. It works with 5000 series. The two X470 boards work fine with 5000 series. They fix those problems. So my advice used to be, forget it, it sucks. But my advice changed because they did actually go back AMD actually issued a statement and said, okay, we will officially support this all the way back to all the 300 series boards. The motherboard manufacturers came out with many BIOS updates. In fact, many of those X370 boards have 2023 BIOS releases. Mm. They have continued to get development. They weren't going to originally. So I give credit and kudos. Anytime a company does bad, I'm going to say shame on you. Anytime they do good... Well, you have to acknowledge it. The... The 300 series boards launched in 2017, which was six years ago. I know. And they have BIOS updates today. Go back and look at most Intel boards from six years ago and tell me what their most recent BIOS update is. It's not this year. Typically, they'll be three years old at this point. Mm -hmm. They typically get updates for about three years and they don't, they don't care anymore. There's, there's exceptions. Uh, Spectrum Meltdown was an exception. Yeah, that's true. So, so with that in mind... To our lovely viewers who have AM4. The Ryzen 7 5700X for 173. That's 46% off. Well, it launched at 320, but you know, you yeah. shouldn't pay 320 for no. that. But it's under 180. If you have a first or second gen Ryzen, you can sell your CPU for anywhere between $50 to $120, depending on what you have. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. 
$15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. On average, you're looking at a $100 upgrade to go from say a Ryzen 5 2600X or a Ryzen 7 2700X to, to a 5700X. Let me tell you, the difference is noticeable at the Windows desktop. The speed at which Chrome opens, the speed at which you can multitask, the speed at which Steam games update and launch is noticeable. You don't need a benchmark. Between a 2700X and a 5700X, that is a to the naked eye visible difference. If you have a $300 video card, such as an RX 6700XD, Oh, yeah. Even at 1440p, yes, you will, the 1% lows will be better. Yep. The averages will be better. The frame pacing will be better. Level load times will be better. You can give your system a complete breath of fresh air for $100. Sell your old chip by this. Mm -hmm. Golden. This is one of the biggest no-brainer upgrades if you have a first or second 1000 or 2000 series Ryzen. 3000 series chips are more questionable because the gain is less. There you go, Dalio just did that. 26 to 5700X. Dalio says, I just went from a 2600, a Ryzen 5 2600 to 5700X. It is insane how big of an upgrade it is. 